on this edition of the HDTV Morning Announcements, AP testing, mental resting, and some academic questing. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm Liz. And I'm Carl. Back from Sweetwater, ready to give you an announcements to remember. Anyway, for lunch in lines one and two, we're going to have taco scoops. Line three, soup and salad bar featuring California blend soup. Line four, leftover hot ham and cheese and pull-apart pizza. And as you could probably expect, line five closed. A happy birthday goes out to Salvador Arismendi, Patience Chamberlain, Trey Frazier, and Emily Vasquez Cervantes. And out of sports with Nick. Thanks, Liz. Due to the rain yesterday, all sporting events were canceled. The boys' golf match at North Montgomery has been rescheduled for Wednesday, May 8th. The baseball and softball teams, as well as the girls' varsity tennis team, have rescheduled their events from yesterday and moved them up to today. However, with a lack of sporting events yesterday, Mr. Dudley's class decided to help me out by playing a good old game of smushball. In a superstar matchup, Vladimir Carreras and Palers defeated Max Moody's Flashes. Vlad got things started with a 3-0 paper, rock, scissors, sweep. Cole Wills then powered the offense with two switch hit home runs, including a grand slam. Congratulations, Impalers, on being named the Smushball Champs. Anyways, that's it for sports. Now on over to you, Liz. Thanks, Nick. Reminder that AP exams begin next week on May 6th through May 16th. All AP exams will take place at FHS in rooms 303 and 305. Students taking morning exams should report to their exam room at 7.30 a.m. Afternoon exams should report to test rooms at 11.30. All AP students should have signed up for Remind. Please see your AP teacher or Mrs. Hickson if you have questions. Today is the last day to check out new library books before the end of the school year. All library books will be due back by Friday, May 10th. However, digital books will be available all summer. See Mrs. Willoughby if you have any questions. Today is the last day to purchase prom tickets. Stop by the bookstore with your permission slip before it's too late. Tomorrow morning, head to the 4-H building at the fairgrounds for the 67th annual Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast. The breakfast takes place between 6.30 and 10 a.m. Tickets are $6 in advance and $7 at the door. Kids 5 and under get in for free. Later on in the morning, the math and interdisciplinary divisions of the Academic Bowl team will be competing in the state competition at Purdue. If you're one of the competitors, meet in Mr. Fortner's room at 9.15 so we can leave at 9.30. No jeans. There's a different procedure for answering questions, so if you haven't done so, read Mr. Fortner's email that he sent out a couple days ago to get specifics on that and anything else you need. And now to a clip with our Physical Education Department on what is Physical Education Week and why it's important. National Sport and Physical Education Week is a time to celebrate all of the work that is being done in physical education classes, youth programs, and sports programs across the country that are helping our students thrive physically, mentally, and emotionally. The reason why sports and physical education are important as well as being physically active is very important is because not only does it help you manage your weight, but it also is ex exceptionally fun. There's a thing called runner's high. There's also a, the, uh, the ability it releases dopamine. It, it makes you enjoy things a lot better. It also uh, keeps you in better shape, which will help you enjoy your time on this earth a lot better as well. Um, nobody likes to be out of breath going upstairs. Nobody likes to be uh, sore and stuff like that. Uh, just for doing regular everyday things. So being a part of physical activity as well as um, PE is exceptionally important. And now, to go along with this physical education week, let's try a short meditation exercise so you don't go absolutely ballistic at a minor inconvenience. Take a deep breath. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in, feeling the lungs expanding. Breathing out, feeling a sense of letting go. Breathing in to feel the body getting fuller. Breathing out to feel the release of any tension. Breathing in, feeling alive and awake. Breathing out, feeling muscles relaxing. Breathing in, that sense of fullness. 
breathing out that unnecessary tension. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye, my little ones. May your path be trouble-free, and may your garbage ASMR be your guide. <laughs> the accent